within these stories to help us navigate through our life so we can make positive, informed decisions about who we are, where we come from, and where we're going. Well, I've got a couple of lads here. How you going, boys? Yama. So we've got White, Derek, Callum, Sean. So the boys are coming in to help today with the with the dance because so, they love you know, dance. There's some negative stuff going around at the school, Gundy High there, um, and a lot of it's about, it's racial, so it's racial that, with the boys, so just trying to, you know, guide them a bit um, about their culture and learning how to so use you can that. see why we're, we're teaching our young people so we can stop that stuff, you know, as it gets a bit older, you know, with the racism because it's, it's really big in Gundy. So um, I just want to let everybody know that, you know, the boys have made some poor decisions, but they're making a good decision today, coming to help out today, so. Can I get a yaw woo? We started this journey with Buddy five weeks ago. Um, Michaela, one of our Year 6 students, came to me and asked if we could create a dance group for the Year 6 students to present to Karen Buckley, who's been working with us from Toowoomba. Um, we got together with Carmel Schomburg and with Buddy and decided it was something that we could do. Um, so Michaela really led this, which is a huge thing, a huge leadership um, role of her. Uh, the kids are loving it. Buddy has done an amazing job in five weeks and we are so, so proud of the kids. Um, their connection to their culture, that passionate feeling that they have. Um, I'm very proud of them. The school's really proud of them. So thank you, buddy. I was actually really surprised that so many kids signed up because there was a lot of kids that seemed to not really identify as Indigenous or didn't seem... To see these kids going from being ashamed to now being proud and want to know more about who they are and where they come from is going to have a ripple effect on future generations. What stories did you learn this morning? Um, the Emu one and my favourite one was the um the three brothers. Oh, the three brothers, and what happened to the three brothers? They got they stole some women and some kids, and they got punished by getting frozen to stone. Yeah, so that's a reminder to listen to who? That me. I'm in the adults. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
we wish you were there. Oh, what did what did we do the dance for? Who did we dance for today? Because he's real proud of who he is and where he comes from, mate. Even when he when he was going fishing and that a lot, eh? he's always taking me out, getting stuff and guanas and fishing and. Really exciting to actually see today. I, I, it was all, almost like I could see people's minds opening. That people that I was a little bit dubious about how they may take the dancing, their eyes widened, they had grins on their faces, they were clapping along, tapping along, and they were the first to go up and commend these kids for the stellar job that they did. It was amazing. This journey has been a cultural one. It has been a spiritual one. It has only been five weeks, but it will last a lifetime. Knowing that these young people now have the tools and skills and the stories to pass on for future generations. Finnegal Gaya Wanagi. Yalu. <laughs>